That disarm Oh wait, there it is. Go back, Jack. What, you mean you're not playing this live? Well, yes, I'm just predictive. Um, I, I'm just really that good at Dead to Rights. Like, Uh-oh, that guy's got an M60. Oh, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, shout out by this jugular, thanks. <laughs> there, there. That'll do it. I just wonder about that Shadow's already figured out this entire plot before it was revealed to Jack. Like, from chapter one, I think he knew. He was just, like, barking at him, telling him, like, trying to, like, fight him and tell him not to go to the strip club and start <laughs> this whole thing. <laughs> Let's just go, look, I found the mines already, I drew my own map. Look, Shadow, I know you're eager to go to the strip club, too, we just need more time. I mean, what genius came up with that? Shadow. <laughs> what should we do with this level? <laughs> my god, that's it. You're right, Shadow, this can go on for half an hour. <laughs> Wait, Shadow trying to call the frequency three times? Yeah. Good idea. Hey. Nice. You get a snack, boy. I gotta find Hennessy's stash before his crew gets back here. This crew is there! <laughs> what, are they gonna throw 400 more guys at you? Maybe this isn't the official crew. To dinner! <laughs> to be fair, when Jack goes out into public, he considers that a shooting range. <laughs> Everything, really. <laughs> Everything. First reflex when you see another human being is to fire that shotgun. Forgot about all the magnetic locks to the basement door. Thank God no one listened to me when I mentioned the danger of a power outage. Fuse boxes in the maintenance room. So, I guess Jack's also like a... I don't even want to... I don't even know how to finish that sentence. Give me some more backstory, Jack, please. So now we're now we're going down to storage. The oh wait, no we're not. We're going to the maintenance room first. That's right. Cuz that's Don't right. you remember Nobody... what Jack said about the magnetic seal? Thank, thank God no one listened to him. Yeah. I imagine Jack being this kind of like know-it-all asshole like, you know, if we ever have a power outage, we could uh <laughs> so we could get in here. Jack knows a lot about engineering. There we go. With the power cut to the basement doors, they ought to swing right open. Good thing they listened to me when I said they should make it really easy for the doors to swing open. <laughs> Good thing they listened to me when I said the dispatch room was such a big pain in the ass, so we shouldn't make any other rooms like that. Now look at this. Lasers. And they're not... We've got to protect our storage. Oh. If, you, if, you, if you look at it, they just drain your health. They're like literally like sci-fi burning lasers. <laughs> They're not like alarms, they're not mines even, they're, they're fucking Star Wars lasers. Oh, my skin is mildly irritated. And there's uh, the perfect 10 again. By the way, you can't, di you can't dive through the uh, lasers, they still hurt you. They barely even hurt you. Yeah, you really have to stand there for them to do any sort of damage. It's like the lasers filled with a line of mosquitoes. I'm just gonna stand there and watch you next not my friend. That offends me that you broke my friend's neck like that. <laughs> Let's just go through more lasers. Oh look, health. This is what all they're storing in storage is guys and health and lasers. You know like that room where like Q would make shit for James Bond? That's the Grand City storage, basically. <laughs> Minus the slightly burning lasers. Right. It's like a really shitty inventor, though. Like, he's only L or something. What, what comes before A? Nothing Nothing will be able to get through these laser guards unless they walk somewhat briskly. If they stand in the laser for the same spot for 20 minutes, they'll be Freud. That one's called Make a Wish. <laughs> <laughs> Make a Wish. <laughs> that one, that one's called keep your chin up. <laughs> Jack's such an asshole. And make a wish you just break the guy's arm and shoot him. It's not really has to do with any. <laughs> Maybe that was Jack's wish. <laughs> hey, what do you know? It came true, right, boy? <laughs> so are those disarms are still kind of playing on loop in my head. <laughs> I like how the guy carefully positioned his chin for Jack so he could pull that off just right. Well, you have to, like, flip over the guy <laughs> yeah. first. Right, Jack, is this where you want me to stand? Okay, alright. Drop it, Slate! 
I swear I'll tell these boys to shoot. Go on, boys. Open fire. I like how they shoot in a perfect cross like that, but don't hit each other somehow. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah, it's like it's like eight diehards in one. I thought I was gonna fall asleep from boredom, not from thinking too hard trying to figure out what's going on. Yeah. I wish I was Jack Slate. So uh, we start this level with a sniper's rifle, and our objective is to uh, interrupt the hook's uh, booty call with Hildy. The objective is to snipe very badly. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm not very good with the sniper rifle. All right. You did better sniping with your assault rifle. Yeah, you know, at this point, let's just drop it and go to our better gun, the dog. <laughs> Much more accurate. Oh, now I didn't uh, do that well. I'm not gonna lie here. We haven't recorded anything in about like a week or two, so pretty much there's Jack's uh, "Don't touch, disarm." That's nice. Um, What's this? Voice clearance? Maybe I can force one of these friendly thugs to speak into the mic. Maybe I should try one of those bananas. I don't think he was talking about guys. I think in general he figured he should just try a banana sometime. He's just really hungry. Well, the chopper number three is around now. This would have been climactic as hell if we hadn't destroyed like six choppers on the way here into the game. Uh, that guy's a cucumber. His voice won't work. It's true. We just we somehow know their ranking based on fruit. <laughs> No, they keep, they spawn infinitely. We're gonna have we're gonna have to just like uh -huh. an endless supply of fruits and vegetables. Exactly. Perfect. Huh. Looks like you're gonna have to make some banana pudding, which means you're gonna shoot him a lot. <laughs> Looks like I'm gonna have to force this fruit to talk. Get it, Shadow? Fancy a toss salad, and then you do that disarm where he eats the guy's ass out. <laughs> Right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna run around this way and we're gonna run into what I like to call disarm alley. <laughs> Why is it called that slow beef? I don't know. Cause they just there we go. Alright, let's see how many neck snaps we get out of this. It's Jack Slate and he's coming down disarm alley. <laughs> Everybody get as close to him as you can. I'll just watch here. Uh, I like to think that Jack's brainstorming while he's doing all these. Like uh, what have I not done yet? Uh, <laughs> I would like to amend my statement. You are, in fact, quite tough. I will, I will redact that. You have shown me the error of my ways, Mr. Slate. It's not... Whoa! Security for this Air Force Base is tight. Yeah. I think it's time to snipe versus rocket launcher. Oh, I'm not good at this. He just really didn't like railings was the problem. <laughs> it's hard to aim these things. Shadow, uh, Shadow can't get that guy. Lazy ass. Now watch this. Huh? I shot him. Look, I'm shooting him. It's raining so loud. <laughs> and it's I'm bleeding from the rain. It's so hard. Didn't know it was gonna hail today. In my forehead. And go out the other side. Welp, I'm dead. Good thing I died before Jack Slate got here. Yeah, I'm glad I could complete that internal monologue. I don't really get this. They only give you one rocket, and then the helicopter flew away anyway, so... <laughs> oh shit, he's got a rocket launcher. Yeah, now it's gone. So now I have a rocket launcher equipped for that one guy, who I completely missed. <laughs> so this is, this is, uh... This is less action movie and more just cavalcade of foolishness. My favorite movie genre. Whoa. Multiple uses for everything. I think Shadow cast Meteo there is what happened. <laughs> now here comes the untakeable armor. You really can't get it? Come on! You can, but it just I don't know like what causes the game to register when you're actually there for it's it. It's for display only. <laughs> it's uh, that's why it's on a turnstile like yeah, that. Yeah, it's like a the shopping network. <laughs> I, I can't get the fucking armor and I need it. There we Jack, go. Jack, this body armor could be yours for $34.99. Not bad. I'll give it a seven. Yeah. Jack Slate is peerless. <laughs> no, he's on one. Oh, oh I'm, uh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Oof! <laughs> Good boy. While we're here, we might as well just... Kill a guy. Yeah. 
watch him like zip line through the. Uh, how did he do that? Just clip through the floor here. Ah, <laughs> uh, no sweat. <laughs> it's for Micah. He can go right through that. Well, the first three didn't go so well. Let's drop a few more. What do you mean you don't want to go down there? Get fucking down there! You don't know that they're dead. Look, I only loaded my helicopter with ru rubber bullets. You guys gotta do something. He didn't say, ow, ow, I'm dead. Alright, I'm out of here. Screw you guys. That was an important cutscene, thanks. <laughs> you ain't so bad. That's called the one-two crunch. That's called I hate your face. I... So on a scale of one to prison level three, how would you rank this? Uh, that was that was a good uh, piece of slow mo there. I just had to rock. I wanted to rocket launch it. We. Oh. Well, the eggs Benedict one is bad because he cracks a guy's neck and then covers him in hollandaise sauce. It's really just sort of complicated. And Jack puts on his chef's hat while he's doing it. <laughs> Time for a little s breakfast, asshole. Shadow's just looking embarrassed in the corner. Oh, this guy. Uh. He's just gonna try to dig through the wall with his shotgun at me. Alright. What? Is, what? I, I can't carry any more weapons. So now you get to backtrack and go where you just were. I love this game. That's right. I want that weapon, so let's just... <laughs> <laughs> Thought you just really didn't like that enemy. You ain't so bad. That's, that's, um, that's dropping items the Jack Slate way. <laughs> like, when he's done with butter, he just squeezes it out of the, <laughs> the bar for the hell of it. Waste not, want not, asshole. Jack, what are you doing with all the salad dressing? Jack, the pe uh... Jack! This is why you spend hundreds of dollars on condiments every year. And guns. You should see Jack okay. take Pepto-Bismol. <laughs> you know, I don't know if I want to. Trust me, you do. I think there is a disarm called the Upset Tummy, actually. I'm sure there is. Where he lovingly rubs the guy's stomach and then... He goes, who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? He's a good boy, and then breaks his neck. Shadow cries a little bit. Aww. Do you think sh uh, Jack ever goes to the vet and sees if he can give Shadow rabies? Just to make him a better weapon? <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure Jack himself has rabies, so... That would explain a lot. Uh, it would. Still not enough, though. I want to, This is like one of the gooniest fucking levels, by the way, because this girl clearly not only rejects Jack, but she holds, like, a gun to him, and he's still like, Nah, I gotta save her. I, I think I still got a shot. <laughs> there is no there is no rejection harsher than shooting the other love interest, stealing the files, and then saying, You don't make enough money for me. But she made direct eye contact. Now, that is true. Yeah, I will give you that. So That's a, that is a good sign. I think signals. She, I think she, like, flicks some hair in front of her forehead with the gun. And they say that's something. Oh, there's a guy with a shotgun right next to me there. He's very good at it. <laughs> it's a it's the sexiest uh, extortion racket I've ever seen. The sexiest. All right. A level three security door. Jack's trying to interject plot points while you're talking. <laughs> <laughs> this part's important, slow beef. Don't forget this. <laughs> Remember to level this in your explanation. <laughs> All right. So anyway. Uh, and Jack's not even looking at that guy he's shooting. <laughs> even he's a little bored with this. Yeah, well. This is like my thousandth guy. These levels are all the same after a while. Oh, I thought we had a cutscene here. What did he just call you? That's the guy. Oh. Of my dreams. <laughs> there we are. That, just, that used up a lot more health than I wanted it to. So. You just shot behind his head. A uh, warning shot. <laughs> Just give me the level 3 card and get this over with already. Tries to get a sharpie and put a 3 on the level 2 card. But she really needed the money, because you can't trust strippers. It's a lesson we all should take away from this game. Um, if, if nothing else, that's the one thing I wanted to impart with this Let's Play. It's the original subtitle of this game, in fact. <laughs> strippers don't really like you, they just want your money. God, this is really confusing. I'm, like, losing myself I'm now. asleep. Okay. Wait, we're in a room full of pillars, and there's a canister. Oh, that's exciting. Nice. No, wait, there's another guy with a shotgun right behind here. Hear him? How oh, he just <laughs> randomly... Yeah. He was just rehearsing like for when Jack actually does show up. And shit. <laughs> right. <laughs> and you just constantly fall. I think that's what they did here. I really want this M60 is the idea. But 
Killer was looking at Jack funny. Which begs the question, who is the mayor's opponent now in the uh, election cycle? Well, obviously Jack's going to run for mayor is where the story's going. I hope so. Mr. Slate, your rebuttal, he just shoots him. <laughs> That's my rebuttal. Kiss my rebuttal. <laughs> Slow applause <laughs> in the audience. <laughs> One guy stands up alone, <laughs> slow claps, and then they all start to get up. Everyone forgets to mention this, but Mayor Pinnacle is a shaved bear in a pinstripe suit. <laughs> Listen. Get out. You ain't got the stuff, do you? Listen, they bleeped out nothing! He was a normal <laughs> sentence! They just threw in a bleep to make it profane! Alright. What? You're a big boy, Pinnacle, but you got no room. Well, uh huh? See, he's a cigar smoker. That's the gimmick. <laughs> so, so we <laughs> dead to rights. An after-school special. <laughs> well, naturally, the smoker's one weakness is being strangled to death. Those cigars will kill you. So they're giving you hints. <laughs> <laughs> so the idea is you gotta wait him out for this four punch combo he does that gets him winded. <laughs> really? No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yet he keeps smoking the cigar. I know! Like, take it out of your fucking mouth! Alright, I think one more ought to do it. This fight, this fight actually can be pretty rough, though, as you can see. I'm sorry, I'm still kind of overwhelmed at how ridiculous this is. <laughs> oh, it happened again for some reason. <laughs> Call us even. For the record, that was not audio desync. His bre neck breaking thing is actually off in the game. <laughs> I was about to ask you about that. <laughs> oh, what a what a day! God, if I were Jack, I would be like, did anyone else see that? <laughs> <laughs>